Welcome back to another video. Uh, so today, as I said in the title, um, this is all about the E flat. A few questions that most of us kind of Helix creator, YouTube -y type people get all the time is, I mean, sometimes it's questions and sometimes it's, it's a little bit of a complaint as well. You know, people just go, I don't really like how the, the polyphonic stuff gives the artifacts in the background and I don't like it and it's unusual and I'm going to get a digi drop pedal and well, that's fine. That's totally fine. If, if I think if you're a little bit more concerned about you know listening out for artifacts and stuff like that, then you're gonna fucking find them, aren't you? It's just, it's that simple. You'll find them. You know what I mean? Like if you want trouble, you'll fucking find it. If you want to go and find it, mate. Anyway, uh, this is a three snapshot patch. As always, you can download it for free. The link is below, just in the comment section. Uh, all I ask in return is that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell. This is subscribe, this is notification bell. Uh, you know, do both of these things and that kind of helps the channel out and uh, keeps me coming back and doing it for free. You know, what else have I got to do on a Wednesday morning? Nothing. Let's take a look at the patch. Okay, so this is kind of, it's effects heavy this because obviously it's kind of a 80s kind of cock rock kind of feel. So there is a shit ton going on. So let's just look at first in the patch, and this is something that some people, when they build these patches with anything, uh, with the pitch or the polyphonic stuff, they kind of get the placement of this wrong. So first of all, it has to go right at the front, okay? Uh, and your mix has to be at 100%, because otherwise it will just sound chonky and awful, all right? That word is chonky and awful. That's two of the things that it will do. Uh, so that's the first place that you need to be putting it. That's obviously in mono because it's going before the amp. No need to put that in stereo. Same with the mono Scream 808. It's just there for the for the mid hump. And the amp of choice today for our stadium cock rock is the PV Panama. Uh, which I think it's a great amp. A little bit misunderstood sometimes. You know, people think that it's kind of fizzy and unworkable. And it doesn't sound like the fucking real thing. Uh, there's plenty of of head to heads from the early days of of Line Six Two and stuff where you can kind of look and hear. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. After that, in between, again, the amp and the cab is the Calligraphic EQ. We all know why that's there. Uh, and then the four twelve double XL V thirty, which kind of sounds like my waistline, uh, using the four oh nine dynamic. Uh, sounds good. I like it. It's not normally a kind of go-to mic choice, but I like the way that it is for this because this amp is it's aggressive, you know, and it kind of calms shit down a little bit. Uh, Trinity Chorus, as always, because, you know, it's the 80s, isn't it? Why not? Dual Delay, Glitter Reverb. This and this, the Dual Delay and the Glitter Reverb, realistically, that's just personal taste for me, so you can swap them out if you want to do something else. Uh, retro reel just to tidy up the uh, tidy up the frequencies and the shittiness of what's going on. Uh, the tile verb again, it's just there always. And then shock horror. This is a shocker that Johnny has put an LA Studio comp at the end of his tone. I never do that. I've said before I don't like compressors. Um, not because I don't know how to use them before any smart ass says that. It's not that. It's just I just don't like them. They're just they're not on my radar. So uh, that needed to be there. It did. It needed to be there. So let me just show you what the crunch sounds like without E flat. <laughs> And then we'll throw the E flat on. So some people were saying that the E flat is good for singular notes, but it's no good for chords, but I'm not buying it. I 
I mean, realistically, do you think that if you were out somewhere and you were gigging, somebody in the audience is going to go, I can, I can hear artifacts. What are those artifacts? <laughs> Get your coat, honey. We're fucking leaving. Because every gig that you go to, you know, you're American when you go. I don't know. Uh, next snapshot is called Maine. It kind of speaks for itself. Delay comes up uh, a lot. Uh, the drive of the amp comes up as well in between that crunch because crunch is kind of set to, as you can see on the screen, set to two. Main jumps up to five. I mean, the thing with the Panama is, is you don't need a shitload of drive for this amp. It's pretty gnarly in, you know, relatively standard form. So, you know, with this, you've kind of got to dial the drive in a little bit. Just less is more, I think. Okay. <laughs> got to do dive bombs it's the 80s <laughs> uh, and then the third is a boost okay so the reason that the boost is there it just all that does is if you watch the mids in between that and main the boost kind of lifts up as we switch to the boost now on the mids just jumps up ever so slightly just kind of gives it a little push uh, and obviously there's a very slight volume boost in there as well so you can if you want again swap the cab out I kind of like that cab I think it behaves nice with this amp uh, you can swap the delay swap the reverb out you can turn everything down you can alter stuff you can get rid of the retro reel you can put the compressor on or not uh, I just threw that on because it was just kind of missing something because there is a lot going on there's a lot of effects going on in there and because it's kind of stadium rock based um I just decided that I needed to kind of clear things up, clean things up a little bit towards the end of the pass. So normally that wouldn't be there, but for the sake of today, it is. You're welcome. Okay, so that is the patch. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the notification bell, you know, do the whole thingy thing and uh, leave a comment and let me know what it's all about when you download it for free, which is the link down below. So as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>